Mm. Wow. Not too dry, but not too juicy. I like beef jerky more on the drier side. I don't know about you guys. I mean, I don't want to feel like I'm just eating a half-cooked steak. Papa Dan's. Cowboy peppered. Tell you what, guys. Ran into them over at the OC Fair. Out here in California. Oh, my goodness. My new favorite beef jerky. And no, this is not a sponsored video. But it could be. Papa Dan's. Welcome back to the channel and I hope everybody had a great day today. I just wanted to bring you part two and the conclusion of my PF Sense Fundamentals and Practical Application Certification. Now the big question is, did I pass? And now if you follow me on my blog, you will already know the answer to this question and that is, I passed. <laughs> yeah, boy. Thank you, thank you so much. What does this mean for me? Well, this means that you now have to listen to every single thing I say about PF Sense because I'm PF Sense Fundamental Certified, because I'm PF Sense Practical Application Fundament, because I'm PF Sense Fundamentals Practical. Let's talk about the exam. Number one, was the exam hard? Yes and no, no and yes. For me, in all honesty, no, it wasn't really hard. Uh, for someone who's brand new to PF Sense, yeah, it might be kind of hard. Overall, uh, no, it's not hard. This is more of more kind of an open book exam, kind of. That is not NetGate's wordings. This is my wording. All the labs they give you are PDF files. Each PDF can be like 15 to 20 pages long, 10 pages long. Um, a lot of these are full of pictures. It's ve they're very detailed, and they tell you exactly what to do. So as long as you be, as long as you don't screw that up, you're gonna be good. So it's a lot of material to go through. So yes, this is why they give you two days, two eight-hour days, and it's really for your benefit. If you get stuck on something, you could kill an hour just trying to figure out, oh shoot, which step did I miss or did I do wrong because I'm unable to ping this end of the tunnel. For example, on day one, when you finish labs one through five, you ping the instructor that's in the call and you let him know, hey, I'm done with lab one through five, and then he will grade your labs. If you have passed everything in the labs, you're good to go. And you can either continue on if the eight hour period for the day hasn't expired yet, or if it's already expired, then you have to wait till day two to complete the rest of your labs. Yes, there was students that were fast enough and completing all the labs in one day. Great, and they got certified in one day. Other than that, I think that is pretty much it. If you have any questions about the exam, feel free to reach out to me. I'll show you guys uh, what the portal looks like now upon completion. Matter of fact, let me do that now really quick. So hang on a second, let me pull this up. So here's what my updated portal now looks like. You will see it's turned completed. Click that play button. You can see these are all checked off now. So like I said, on day one, you're gonna do labs one through five. Um, and then if you finish early, you can knock out lab six. And then on day two, generally you'll do seven through nine. Once you pass all the labs, you'll get this congratulations, and then you can click on 
course completed and then you can download the certificate and ta-da you will be PFSense certified